a very good evening to everyone i hope the voice uh, the lecture has just started right now so you can just check the voice right now and let me know whether the voice is clear or not so very good evening everyone welcome to global online and uh, as you all are aware we have started you know the series of questions and in this series we today we have taken the unit that is called as information and communication technology which is the most important uh, questions of these two particular topic which we are going to take today as live mcqs and we are daily live at 9:30 pm uh, from the next week we will be starting with the mcqs but those mcqs will be consisting of uh, previous year question papers so we are targeting 22 and 23 question papers make sure that you are um, aware of uh, the sessions which we are going to take stay tuned and really practice well a uh, very f uh, less time is left for you to crack your examination and for your uh, support or for for you to get cracked your examination very well we have brought up a complete course for paper 1 ugc nta net which consisting of daily live lectures full syllabus notes 60 plus mock test apart from this we also have mock test every week on saturday for the specific topic which we are going through the week so this week we are doing a topic that is information and communication technology so we will be having the mock test on communication and technology information communication and technology apart from that you also have 2000 plus mcq question banks all this this all this is available at a fee cost of rupees 3600 with a 20% off you can also download this with the help of global online app which is available on google play store uh, register yourself with the registered mobile number this is how the interface looks like you can you know the you can get access to the con content once you are in with the paper uh, with the app and you can uh, get theory lectures evaluation test notes mock test and mcqs lecture okay so this is all what we have for you for your paper 1 now without wasting time let's start the session for the day so we have uh, 25 questions today to do make sure that you are utilizing your time very well answering the questions any case any doubt make sure that you are noting those doubts and revising it very well before your examination okay so let's go back to our questions just a second let me just get the screen set yes so we have done questions till 25 yesterday if you are aware so we'll be starting with 26th question today and you know that we go in a sync that is we continue with the question numbers so here we will have the first question on the screen the first question on the screen is question number 26 which tells about the institution promoted by department of it so any institution which is promoted by the department of it to provide communication infrastructure and services to academic research institutes in india is what is it inflipnet is it ugc is it earnet or is it none of the above so the institutions promoted by department of it to provide communication infrastructure and services to academic research institutions in india so which are those so in india is this inflipnet is it ugc is it earnet is it none of the above so let's see hope the question is very clear the institution promoted by the department of it okay to provide communication infrastructure and services to whom to the academic research institutes so which are they they are called as inflipnet they are called as ugc they are called as earnet or they are called as none of the above so let's see how many of you are answering the question yes question number 26 on the screen and everyone is supposed to just write the question number and the answer yes very good okay some are right some are wrong but the answers are available so it is uh, earnet okay now this is what okay so the i the department which provides communication infrastructure and services to academic research institutions uh, institutions in india it's not inflipnet it is not information library network it is basically earnet be clear with your doubts everyone what the question is asking it is asking the institution which provides communication infrastructure and services to academic research institutions in india so this is what it is uh, all asking about okay so be be clear with what the question is and what you are answering right now 
the pocket of uh, fm radio channels which broadcast programs contain contributed by institutions such as ignu and iits is what so the the bouquet of F fm radio channels which broadcast programs contributed by institutions such as ignu and iits are ganwani or is it gan darshan or is it edusat or is it none of the above so which of these are the following institutions which are resulted into the bucket of fm radio channels which broadcast programs contributed by institutions such as ignu and iits okay yes okay answers are very quick very good and correct also that is very important so the channel fm radio channel is nothing but it is ganwani very good okay great yes be careful everyone it is not edu education satellite it is talking about the channel radio channel the radio channel is ganwani those were not yes those are not clear just update your knowledge everyone okay now coming to question number 28 now question number 28 is about which of the following institutions has been working in the direction to develop a virtual technical university in india so when we talk about a virtual technical university in india which institution is providing you know uh, or working with the direction so whether it is aicte whether it is ignu whether it is ugc or whether it is national missions that is nmceit so which of the following institutions are working to develop a virtual technical university in india so when it comes to virtual technical university in india which of them okay 28 question number okay 28 we have got answers we are getting okay others just little bit of time so that you can come with the right answer uh, for the question okay yes so it is talking about what it is talking about the institution which has been working in the direction to develop a virtual technical university in india so when it comes to develop a virtual technical university in india which of them uh, from the following is responsible okay so let me see for question number 28 um yes some are right some are still going wrong but some yes please be careful see it is talking about what what developing a virtual technical university so when it comes to technical university it is national mission on education through see it is technical university no so it is basically national mission on education through information and communication technology that is ICT okay when which is responsible for working in the direction in order to develop a technical university see when we talk about ignu that is you know distance learning okay ugc and aict are compliance or statutory body so they are not the one who are working towards developing a virtual technical university it is only national mission education uh, on education sorry with reference to information and communication technology right okay coming to i hope those who are having doubt the doubt is clear right now okay coming to question number 9 uh, 29 sorry the joint initiative of iits and iiscs to provide e learning through online so when we talk about the joint initiatives of iits and iiscs to provide e learning through online web and video courses in many streams specifically engineering in the country by providing free online courseware is what so is it national program on technology enhanced learning is it aict net is it nmceit or is it none of the above so which of the uh, joint initiatives of iits and iics provide e learning through online web and video courses and many streams specifically engineering in the country by providing free online courseware so which of the programs are one which is the joint initiative okay so from the given option yes question number 29 already the answers have started yes very very clearly the students are clear with the concept which is very good so the initiatives of iits and iiscs to provide e learning we did this question yesterday also but in a very simple form is basically the national program or that is neptel okay that is national program on technology enhanced learning which is available with respect to providing e learning through various uh, video uh, sorry 
online web and video courses and many streams specifically engineering uh, uh, with reference to free online courseware right okay coming to question number 20 uh, sorry 20 Coming to question number 30, just a second, I'll take the question clearly down. Okay, so which of the organizations has been assigned the task to develop e-content for almost close to 1000 courses, okay, belonging to engineering, belonging to sciences, belonging to technology, belonging to humanities and management. So which of the organizations have been assigned to task the dev to develop the e-content of uh, almost 1000 courses which is belonging to engineering, sciences, technology, humanities and management. So whether it is IIT Madras, whether it is uh, Bits Pilani or whether it is IIT Mumbai or whether it is none of the above. Okay. Yes everyone. Yes. Uh, Waiting for the answer, everyone. Yes. So we are talking about what yesterday's question, ma'am. It was. It is not yesterday's question. Which yesterday question you are asking about? Okay. Let me first sort out the answer for this, and then we'll come. If you if you read the question very carefully, this is not yesterday's question. It was related, but not same question. So basically, yes, some are again here right, some are again wrong. Everyone is not hundred percent right. So it is the one which is uh, assigned to develop the courses belonging to engineering sciences technology it is iit madras it's not bits pilani it's not iit mumbai it's not none of the above it's iit madras who is responsible for uh, developing the e content yes ashwini this course is uh, this uh, question was there yesterday but not exactly seen again what yesterday we did was the question is answer today and what was the answer is question today so it's reverse okay so that's the reason i brought this question right okay now this is next one is very easy question i think everyone should be able to answer this question 100 percent correct without any second thought so when we talk about a view okay the software that has been developed under NM, that is National Mission on Education through Information and Communication Technology, is basically developed for what? So, AVU is developed for teachers training, either it is technical training, either it is students training or all above. So, when we talk about, it's not repeated question, uh, the question is different. Uh, maybe the topic is same but the question is different okay so a view the software has been developed okay we have got the answer uh, under the national mission education uh, through information and communication technology is basically developed for what yes okay uh, here little bit of you know okay yes so let's see, uh, I think here there is a little bit of confusion with everyone. Maybe you little topic is not clear. So I'll just, you know, answer this question very well. Yes. Okay. So here basically when we talk about A view, okay. So in A view is basically what? It is either it is for teachers, either it is for students or that it is for all about. So here, see a view if you talk about software you, in, in ICT, okay, with reference to ICT with some, uh, yes, just a second. Now let me check how many answers students are giving. Accordingly, I can help you to give a little bit of detailed explanation for this. Okay. So here see, when we talk about AVU, the software which has been developed by National Mission Education, basically it is developed for, see the question is very clear, it is basically developed for teachers training. It's not for everyone's training. Now here see, please try to understand that's how the question which is read by the students is not correct. It is talking about training. So it is teachers training, technical training, students training. No, it's not for students training. It's for students understanding which has to be given by teacher. So here the question, uh, 
is the software which is basically developed for whom so this software is basically developed for teachers just there is a drastic mistake uh, yes 30th question 30th question answer i have given it is iit madras yes uh, 31st yes 31st a view is a software and this software is developed for teachers training it's not for students training okay uh, yes uh, i'm not saying i uh, see specifically i'm not pointing out which students answer is right or wrong if your answer is right it's well and good but if it is wrong just try to update yourself right okay coming to now web now if you remember web 1.0 1.0 oh, you say 2.3 point we have done all the webs in the theory classes so you should know any question can come for this okay so web 2.0 tools have been traditionally uh, sorry have made traditional learning more social and personalized so which of the following can be referred as web 2.0 tools so whether it is blogs and wikipedia wikis whether it is podcast and mashups whether it is social networking communities or all above so when we talk about web tools which have made traditional learning more social and personalized so it is referred to what so is it it refers to blogs and wikis is it refers to podcast is it refers to social networking communities or all the above so yes let's say let's understand what it is all about question number 32 yes okay uh anyone if it's not clear with this topic please refer to my theory class which is open for everyone on the channel in that i have taken one specific lecture on web 1.2 point and 3 point so it will be easier for you in one go you can understand this okay yes so basically the traditional learning uh, sorry tools which have made traditional learning more social and personalized it refers to all the above so it's from 1.0 to 2.0 uh, sorry tools which indicates all social and personalized learning right okay coming to question number 33 now so let's see what is question number 33 so basically the question 33 talks about which of the following services can help students to access computer files from remote location Through or though uh, through mobile phones, okay. Little bit of grammatical error over here. Which of the following services can help students to access computer files from remote location through mobile phones? So whether it is Facebook or whether it is your uh, uh, Ren Ren, uh, sorry, whether it is uh, Sonar or whether it is Twitter. So which of these uh, can help the students to access computer files from remote location through mobile phone? okay yes you should have little bit of knowledge about this so it is easier for you to you know uh, go through it yes waiting for everyone to answer the question uh fine so i let me see how many of you are able to answer this question maybe uh um, not yes it is basically the the one which helps the students to access computer files from the remote location through mobile phones is renren yes uh those who know it very good those who are not so this is basically a it's it's a chinese network uh, networking service uh, which is primarily used by the students and has you know who are monthly active users in order to access the file from remote locations through mobile phones right okay coming to question number 34 the satellite communication which works the satellite communication works through so whether it works through transponder whether it works through radar whether it is working to tv or whether it is working to fiber optics cable so the satellite communication okay works through what it is basically working through what or it works with what yes waiting for the right answer everyone
so when we talk about the satellite communication it works through a uh, remote area completely known network we cannot so that uh, say that digital divide is helping this problem to sort out okay uh, yes so the satellite communication works through yes question number 34 everyone are, are answering but still i'm just giving chance to everyone you know to come to the answer and give the meaning very well okay so yes the satellite communication which uh, satellite communication ba basically works through what it works through transponder now what basically this transponder is it's a wireless communication monitoring or controlling the devices that picks up automatically that picks up and automatically responds to an incoming signal so when we talk about the satellite communication the satellite communication basically which works through transponder is something you know uh, in the form of what is something in the form of wireless communication which helps in monitoring or controlling the device that picks up and automatically responds to an incoming signal so it's a combination actually uh, remember one thing its transponder is nothing but a combination of transmitter and a responder so you may have this also question it is a combination of what it's a combination of transpon uh, transmitter and responder and this togetherly has created what it created as transponder is it clear okay now coming to the next is question number 35 so let's go to question number 35 a computer consists of what a very basic easy question in fact it should not be at this level but just just for a change of mind to relax it and come back i have just added this question a computer consists of a cpu that is a central processing unit a memory input output unit or it is consisting of all the above so a computer consists of what so they have given you the list you have to tell the computer consists of what what basically the computer is consisting of okay let me see this is a very easy question in fact there should be no thinking time at all it should be very quick it should be very faster transporter no transponder kalyani it is transponder as i said transmitter and responder okay combination right 35 yes very good very good everyone so a very basic question just to light up the things a computer consists of a cpu that is central processing unit a memory yes input output unit yes and all about right okay now coming to question number 36 everyone so a typical modern computer uses what so when we talk about a modern computer a modern computer uses lsi chips whether it is using vacuum tubes valves or all the above so when we talk about the modern you know computer so it is using what you can um, the acronym which is given you can even name the acronyms also or you know come to the right answer so what is a modern computer what does a modern computer uses okay question number 36 okay i have started getting answers yes so uh, fine so answers are coming up so a modern computer uses something called as lsi uh, lsi chips now what is this it's a large scale integration now basically this large scale integration is used you know in order to uh, make sure that the you know speed the parameters like speed uh, at a very low cost okay speed with a low cost amount or a investment is available and that's what is used in a modern day computer or modern time computers which is nothing but a large scale integration right okay now coming to question number 37 everyone So question number thirty-seven is on the screen. So let's see what question number thirty-seven is all about. Okay, I'll read the question. So now the question is talking about which of the following is the correct statement. So the correct statement they have given some statements to you, and they are asking you to uh, you know give the correct statement. So whether it is um, computers can be used for diagnosing. Uh, sorry. to diagnose the difficulty of a student in a learning subject 
psychological testing can be done with the help of computer provided you know a software which is available at the same time a set of instructions okay uh, is called as a program or all the above so which of the following okay is basically um, calling as what it's calling as a correct statement so uh, they have given you the list of the statements okay that computers can be used for di to diagnose the difficulty of a student learning in a subject psychological testing can be done okay a set of instructions is called as a program or what about so let's see okay uh how many of you so yes you have time okay yes i'm waiting for everyone to answer the question 37th question 37th everyone uh large scale integration is already done 37th i think the message is a bit getting late okay fine okay so let us see question number 37 yes now see over here question number 37 okay when when we talk about um, yes here the there will be a uh, confusion but basically question number 37 uh, you have the option as a set of instructions is called as a program now see why d now students those who are saying d please remember c psychological testing can be done with the help of uh, computer provided a software is available yes it is right but computers are used to diagnose the difficulty of a student in learning the subject but uh, this is not you know this is uh, with a specific uh, parameters not every f in, in every form so question number uh, 37a may not be the right answer and hence all the above statement is not correct be careful you uh, you know you are mixing some statements and that's the reason some students are doing uh, you know your students are doing some mistake okay so be careful with that okay come on so let's go with um, question number 38 which of the following statement is not correct now when you are reading some statements no the statement is not correct okay so um, be careful they are asking you which statement is not correct computer is capable of processing only digital signals computer is capable of analyzing both quantitative and qualitative data appropriate software is required for processing the data and computer is capable of processing digital as well as analog signals so which of the following statement is not correct they have given you the list of the statements and from these statements you have to tell that out of the given statements which statement is not correct so whether it is statement computer is capable of processing only digital signals uh, or it is uh, analyzing both qualitative and quantitative data appropriate software is required for processing data and data is used for digital processing as well as analog uh, signals so what is the right answer okay so yes let me see how many of you are able to answer this question yes uh, please okay answers are coming up still i am giving little bit time for the students to you know uh, come with the right answer question number 38 everyone okay so let's see yes 38 yes uh, great great everyone so computer is capable of processing digital as well as analog signals so this statement is not correct and this is what this is a wrong statement right okay coming to question number 39 everyone so 39th question 
दिस वॉज द क्वेश्चन विच वॉज बिन आर्क सो सी दो इट इज लिटिल बिट ओल्ड सिलेबस नो बट दीज क्वेश्चन वर आर्क सो आई जस्ट यू नो वेर एवर इट इज आई हैव स्पेसिफाइड द इयर ऑल्सो दो इट इज ओल्ड बट येस इट वॉज यू नो सीन इन द लेटेस्ट पेपर ऑल्सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट नाउ दे हैव आर्क टू द स्टेटमेंट विच इज करेक्ट दट वायरस इम्प्रूव द स्पीड ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग द इंटरनेट डज नॉट अलाउ टू वायरस टू स्प्रेड virus is a part of software or virus is an operating system so you have to lift up to you know uh, the statement which is correct now now see in such questions you have to be very careful uh, so you have to ensure that the statement is you know uh, given very specifically read and answered Okay, so let's see. Yes. Uh, question number thirty-nine, uh, everyone. Okay. Yes. So let's see question number thirty-nine. What everyone has answered. Okay yes virus is not an operating system okay some have okay fine so yes the statement which is correct here also there is some confusion um which statement is correct so virus so now see virus improves the speed of processing information through computer wrong the internet does not allow the virus to spread spread which is not correct virus is a part of software no virus is an operating system okay so this is what basically talking about what it is talking about the statement which is correct okay so from the given statement so you have four statements so from these given statements the statement number d that is virus is an operating system is a statement which is correct right okay now coming to question number 40 everyone which of the following is not the characteristics of a computer so you have given they have given you the list of four characteristics from this you have to pick up which is not a characteristic of a computer so elect uh, computer is an electron uh, sorry electrical machine computer cannot think on its own or computer processes an information error free computer can hold data for any length of time so they have given you the four characteristics and from these four characteristics they are telling that one of the characteristic is not correct it means it is not a part or not a characteristics of a computer so you need to highlight that so yes from the given options which is the characteristics which is not correct so yes everyone question number 40 uh yes so question number 40 option number a option number b option number c or option number d which of the option is not a characteristic of a computer so you need to highlight the characteristics which is not a part of a computer yes uh okay so let's see question number 40 uh, how many of you are able to answer the question correctly uh, so yes uh, 40th question answer so yes is not correct yes uh let okay let me okay uh fine just just a second okay um yes so option number yes here also little bit confusion is there uh 
so let us clear the confusion so from the given statement now see uh, when we have the following statements so here it is asking about the statement which is not a characteristic of a computer so computer is an electric machine computer cannot think on its own because you it needs a data to be you know feeded computer processes an information error free no uh, or computer can hold the data for any length of time uh, no so here see computer is an electrical machine now see computer is not a electrical machine uh, computer is an electric machine is not the characteristics please try to understand it is not a characteristics of the computer computer is a operating machine not an electrical machine it's an operating machine which makes use of technology in order to get you know uh, or you can say in order to get the work done or what is what basically what type of output is required from the particular uh, given instruction so that is what the computer is and it's you cannot label it as an electrical machine basically it's an operating machine right okay so those students because there are mixed set of question answers over here yes a uh, farzana c here they have asked us not a characteristics so uh, many of you highlighted computer cannot think on its own it is it is not a characteristics it it is because you unless and until you do not feed the information computer cannot start working so you require a human inter or a data instructions in the form of you know the raw data is needed so this is one of the characteristics uh, processes uh, an information free uh, error free no if there is an error in in the input the output will be uh, not error free computer can hold in data for any length of time uh, yes de depending upon the memory so here they have not specified whether it is ram rom so this is this is acceptable but is it a electric machine no it is an operating machine right fine okay question number 41 everyone uh, which of the following is an appropriate definition of computer now see yesterday i had given a meaning of it right uh yes there uh, i hope the question is yes the question is bit confusing i have told the answer but they have told not okay and the right a question is electrical machine because it comes under this ca uh, division of uh, operating machine right maybe you have understood right now still if you have doubt let me know yes question number 41 we are at question 41 everyone they have given you the definitions and you have to pick the one computer is a machine that can process computer is an electronic device that can store computer is an e electronic device that can store retrieve quickly process the data and it's it's an electronic device that can store retrieve and quickly process only the qualitative data okay so let's see uh yes Okay yes come on everyone Let me see how many of you are right with this question yes question number 41 okay Yes okay let's see yes 41 question very good so computer is an electronic device which can store which can retrieve which can quickly process both qualitative and quantitative data accurately right okay now uh coming to question number 42 the pointer organization in personal computer industry so when we talk about the personal computer industry which comes under the point uh, pointer date organization whether it is ibm whether it is apple whether it is Com uh, compaq or whether it is infosys in in the form of personal computer industry so the point of organization in personal computer industry is which question 42 everyone
okay uh, question number 42 what is the right answer when it comes to personal computer industry yes Neha, now I hope your confusion is clear. Yes, the questions are lengthy, so I'm telling today. See, I didn't force you much with the time limit, uh, because the questions, some questions are little bit complicated and confusing. Yes, um, some are right over here, some are wrong. Uh, when it comes to the personal computer industry, it is basically IBM. So IBM is the one a uh, point of organization. when it comes to personal computer industry okay be careful such uh, such questions again can you know uh, that is a little bit can put you in the fix so you have to be very very careful so when it comes to personal computer industry it is ibm right okay coming to question number 43 now we are into the memory part of the topic which of the following terms is mostly clo sorry is most closely related to main memory so when we talk about main memory is this non volatile is it permanent is it control unit or is it temporary which term okay uh, term it is so you are also again sorry so here it is which term is closely related to the main memory so from the given list okay you have to talk about the term which is related to the main memory okay Okay. Yes. So everyone, question number forty-three. Yes. Waiting for everyone to answer the question. So for forty-three, what is the question? Uh, what is the right answer? Yes. Uh, some are right. Some why there is you know this topic is very common in ICT. So it should be very clear. Closely related to main memory is the term temporary. Okay. many of you have answered correctly but still there are little students who are confused with this and memory questions again confuses many of the students so be careful on those part even on memory topic i have taken one full fledged lecture right okay which of the following is used as manufacturing chips so when we talk about uh, uh, the list okay which is used as the manufacturing chips control bus okay control unit parity unit or semiconductor so which of the following is used as is used for manufacturing chips whether it is control bus whether it is control unit okay question number 44 answer is already ready or whether it is parity unit or it is semiconductor so yes the one which is used for manufacturing chips yes again men, some are right over here so manufacturing chips basically called as what it is called as semiconductor right okay so now coming to question number 45 question number 45 is about group of instructions to direct the functioning of a computer is called as what so when we talk about a group of instructions which is used to direct the functioning of the computers is it you know is it a storage is it a memory is it a program or is it a byte okay so from the given list which uses or what is basically the group of instructions which used to direct the functioning of a computer so the functioning of a computer is basically called as what is it called as a storage is it called as a memory is it called as a program or is it called as a byte so yes so the group of instructions to direct the functioning of a computer uh, we have done similar question not exactly one and the same but similar question so it is called as what it is called as a program right Okay, now coming to question number forty-six, everyone. The main component of first-generation computer. So when we talk about the first-generation computer, see now uh, in the generation, no computer generation, you do not have uh, regular questions. So the questions have changed. So yes, they are just asking you the main component of first-generation computer. Whether it is transistors, whether it is vacuum tubes, uh, sorry, vacuum tubes. whether it is integrated circuits or none none of the above so the main component of first generation computer is what so from the given list whether it is transistors whether it is vacuum tubes whether it is integrated circuits or whether it is none of the above 
Yes, question number 46 everyone. We have last uh, five, four, four to five questions to go now. Yes, question number 46. Very good. Yes. So, the first generation computer which we have very commonly, you know, studied about is vacuum tubes and valves. Okay, great. Good. Okay, some easy set of questions. So, you can just little bit, you know, speed up with your answers. Fortin is an acronym which is used for what? Is, is Fortin used for file translation? Is it is used for format translation, formula translation or floppy translation? So, the Fortin is an acronym which is used for what? Is it used for file translation? Is it used for format translation? Is it used for form, formula translation? Or is it used for floppy translation? So, it is basically used for what? Question number 47 everyone. Yes, um, little bit faster everyone can become. So, that your speed limit, time limit, yes. Very good everyone. So, Fortin, yes. Again, one of the basic question is basically used for what? It is used for formula translation right okay last three questions to go in uh, in an analog computer input is first converted to digital form input is never converted to digital form uh, output is displayed in digital uh, form or all the above so when we talk about the analog computers what it is it is basically defined as what input is first converted to digital form input is never converted to digital form output is displayed in the digital form or all above so yes whether it is option number a whether it is option number b whether it is option number c or whether it is option number d so in analog computer what exactly it is uh, converted into so whether it is input is converted to digital it is never converted to digital form or it is, you know, displayed in the digital form or all the above. So, yes, no. Your little bit drastic change, everyone. In your answers, some are right. All different, different answers. So, when we talk about analog computer, input is never converted to digital form. So, when we basically talk about analog computer, it, input is never converted to digital form. Be careful. Some of them have answered rightly, but others have made just a uh, little bit of, you know, uh, mistake right okay so question number 49 everyone a hybrid computer what a hybrid computer resembles a digital computer it resembles an analog computer it resembles both a digital and analog computer or none of the above so hybrid computer when we talk about hybrid com computer uh, it is basically what it is one which is resembling the digital computer it is one which is resembling the analog computer or it resembles both A and B or it is none of the above. So, when it comes to hybrid computer, it is basically what? Yes. Question number 49 everyone. Yes, 49. Great. Yes. So, yes. So, basically a hybrid computer is the one which resembles both a digital as well as an analog computer. Right? Okay. Coming to question number, last question of the day. Coming to question number 50. Which of the fall, sorry, in the latest generation computers, so when we talk about the latest generation computers, the instructions are executed what? Parallelly only, sequential only, both sequential and parallel or all above. So when we talk about the latest generation of computers, the instructions are executed, executed in the form of what? Parallel, sequential, both sequential and parallel or all above. So, yes, when we talk about the latest generation computers, the instructions are executed. Yes, the instructions are executed both sequentially and parallel. So, it is, yes. So, question number, yes. Very good. Some of them are very perfect. Just need to practice and keep yourself updated so that you can crack your examination very well. Okay. Yes. So, that's all we have for the day. Uh, next 25 questions tomorrow will come with another set of 25 questions make sure that you are revising well you are doing your uh, part of set studies very well and definitely aiming at you know uh, cracking the examination 
in case if you are interested in paper 2 study material for the following subjects which are listed on the screen you can please get in touch with us the uh, subjects are given the notes and mcqs will be provided you have a 20 percent off so the price is 1280 and we have given our whatsapp number you can get in touch with us okay thank you everyone that's all for the day good night and see you tomorrow at 9 30 pm thank you